Prescription drugs are often much cheaper outside of the U.S. and now Congress and several states are considering laws to allow people to import their medications from places like Canada. But a former FBI director warns importing prescription drugs can be dangerous. Eyewitness News Washington correspondent Alexandra Limon has more. Around the country, many Americans struggle with the high costs of medicines, often having to choose between buying groceries or medications. There's too much price gouging going on, and Big Pharma is inflicting big pain. Oregon Senator Ron Wyden is working on federal legislation to allow Americans to buy prescription drugs from other countries. And Oregon, Colorado, Texas and Florida are considering similar state laws. Lee Purvis with the AARP says the group supports the idea and it's one that's come up before, but this time it has wide support. Prescription drug prices and price trends really have gotten to the tipping point um, in the sense that everyone is upset about them. Although it's not legal, some Americans already buy their medications medications online from other countries. Former FBI Director Louis Free says those medications can be counterfeit or laced with dangerous ingredients. A lot of uh, deaths around the United States, uh, including here in Florida, uh, from uh, overdoses and medicines that have uh, fentanyl in them. Free says the state plans are too lax. Uh, allow uh, foreign-made medicines to come into the United States really without any checks or balances. But the states say they would work with the federal government to ensure imported drugs meet FDA regulations. The Department of Health and Human Services would have to sign off on any of these state laws. In Washington, Alexandra Limon.